So friends, today we will be talking about heat desiccated products uh, such as Kova. Uh, these are those products which are prepared by open pan concentration of milk or milk solids. Uh, it occupies a prominent place in the traditional uh, Indian dairy products. Obviously, uh, about 7% of the total milk produced is converted into Kova. Uh, this is a brief introduction about the uh, about Kova. As such, it is generally being used as a raw material for preparation of different products such as Peda, Barfi, Gulab Jamun, Milk, Cake, Kalakan, etc. So, it could be used as an intermediate product for different sweetened products preparation. When we compare the composition, we find that buffalo milk khoa, it is having quite higher moisture content as compared to cow milk khoa and the fat content is also quite high. Fine, uh, you can also, it is interesting to note that iron content in buffalo milk khoa is quite high uh, and even as well in the cow milk khoa, this is high as compared to that of milk. The main reason behind uh, this increased amount of iron content is that uh, Koa is prepared in uh, usually stainless steel vessels fine and uh, it is the boiling conditions during which uh, we prepare the Koa. So because of the stirring and scra scraping operations, uh, iron migration takes place from the vessel to the product. That is why these products, the Koa contains higher amount of iron as compared to milk okay uh, obviously see there are important points uh, suppose we are having uh, a choice that we are having cow milk as well as buffalo milk so which type of milk we will be using for khoa preparation so ideally we should go for buffalo milk there are three reasons for this first is the color of product in case of buffalo milk we will be getting white while in case of cow milk we will be getting yellow colored product Obviously, because of higher fat content, the buffalo milk hoa is slightly greasy or oily, while cow milk hoa it is somewhat dry. The second most important reason is the taste. You can see that the taste of cow milk hoa is slightly salty, while in case of buffalo milk hoa it is sweet. And the third most important point is of yield. We get higher yield in buffalo milk as compared to cow milk. This is because of higher total solid content in buffalo milk itself. Of right. oh, uh, as such, they can be classified into three types. That is dhab, danidar, and pindi. Fine. These are available at different prices because of their inherent characteristics. Fine. We will see to it. See, uh, this is the table that I was talking about. When we see moisture content, pindi and pindi and dhab, see both of them content very wide or uh, I can say there is no overlap between pindi and dhab, fine. While dhani dhar, another variety, it somewhat has a lower moisture content than dhab and somewhat higher than that of pindi type khoa, fine. So the, the differentiating features among this is first the moisture content and second body and texture lactic acid fine see lactic acid that too is not that much important but the body and texture is very important fine see uh, so pindi and dhab they have different moisture content that is why uh, see it is loose while it is firm because of difference in moisture content while dhane dhar it is characterized by typical grains in it fine so that is why it is called dhane dhar okay uh, see not only they see the reason why we have three types of koa is because we need three different types of raw material for different products preparation for example pindi that is used for burfi and peda preparation dhab this is used for gulab jamun pantua preparation while dhane dhar this is specifically used for milk cake kala and doda burfi preparation so because of the fact that these raw these final product require different uh, type of raw material that is why we have categorized khoa into three types okay see manufacturing uh, as far as manufacturing is concerned uh, khoa is uh, khoa is prepared both at the domestic layer at the domestic or at smaller scale as well as the industrial scale fine so we will be talking about both of them uh, see milk at the conventional scale is taken in small lots and then it is boiled fine, along with stirring and scraping this is done to 
prevents uh, burning of solids at the surface fine see uh, there then happens an important change that after a certain concentration is achieved heat coagulation of milk proteins begin and the concentrate becomes progressively insoluble progressively insoluble means that if i add water into it the protein will not get back to soluble form they will remain in insoluble form only this is also characterized by a sudden change in the color okay now once this uh, see this concentration or this point is achieved when uh, the proteins become insoluble at that time we decrease the amount of heat i mean we decrease the amount of heat we are giving and we increase the speed of stirring as well as uh, scraping so that see at this point what happens moisture content in the material is less so if we are giving more moisture then obviously the product will burn so that is why we are decreasing moisture content in this case and uh, sorry we are decreasing the heat con he amount of heat input in this in the pro in the system and increasing the speed of stirring at scraping fine soon uh, we will observe that a semi solid or pasty consistency has came has arrived and the content starts to leave the bottom fine leave the surface fine this is often called as pat formation fine this happens because of fat demulsification see fat demulsification occurs because of the stirring and scraping action okay see when pat formation is achieved what we do we remove the content and then allow it to cool okay uh, so this is what is the procedure for hoa preparation fine okay fine